Hey Simmers, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you have been here before. This video is about how to turn your Wicked Whim strip club into a functional brothel. So if you enjoy watching this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you have something to say or a question, please let me know in the comments and for more content, please subscribe. Just in case you did not already know this, I am all about the adult gameplay and the adult mods. And I already have three videos on strip clubs. So I have a video on how to set up the strip club, how to maximize your profits with the strip club and make a lot of money and how to have a strip club in your world and show up as a client without actually having to own it. So if you are interested in those topics or you need to get your strip club set up, um, go ahead and watch those videos. This one is strictly about how to take your strip club to the next level by making it a brothel. This functionality does require the Wicked Whims mod, the Wicked Perversions mod, and the Get to Work pack. So before you get this set up, you do need to have those installed. Wicked Perversions, if you're not familiar, is kind of an add-on mod to Wicked Whims, and you can find a link to install that on the Wicked Whims website. So just make sure you have that um, installed before we get going. So. Thorn Bailey, who is standing on the stage, apparently just won the lotto and is blowing his winnings at the strip club, but I'm not mad at him. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the venue. The name of this strip club slash brothel is the Cheetah Lodge. Why? Because cheetah print is sexy, in case you didn't know that. And it's a lodge because it has beds in it, but it's not really a lodge, it is a brothel. And it is located in the valley of Chestnut Ridge with spectacular, breathtaking views of the mountain. So it's kind of a western jungle <laughs> type theme. At the floor of the Cheetah Lounge, there's employee stuff like a gym, a sauna, break room, um, showers and a dressing room. It would be really cute if they actually used this dressing room, like if they came in and picked out their outfits and then did their hair and makeup in there, but they don't, so it's really just for show. But this wine cellar or wine, nectar making room is functional, so I have a lot of space, so I just kind of wanted them to get into nectar making since I understand they can make money from that always use another stream of income so on the next level it's the main strip club stuff like the stage the private dance rooms bars bathrooms and plenty of areas to lounge in and in the back um, where you see the rooms those are actually the brothel area so those are four bedroom suites um, that are used just for turning tricks, but not, not the kind that magicians do, but that is what those are set up for. And then on the next level, there's a couple of more poles. I kind of wanted this to look like a cage, so um, that's why they're up there like that. And then there's a bar, and on the upper level of the brothel area is apartments for the owner, so that's where the owners stay. And I kind of have them stay there um, for days on end. They have put over a million dollars into this business so they're trying to get their money back so they pretty much just live at this um, lodge or strip club at this point in time and i was trying to make this a kind of jungle theme but since it's kind of a western theme you know being in chestnut ridge i did combine what i could and it's supposed to be tacky like so the the tacky or the cheesy stuff is definitely intentional but it is normal um strip club stuff i kind of wanted to make it a hotel and i tried that i actually tried the the hotel and resorts mod by kawaii stacy and it didn't exactly work out the way that i wanted to it didn't break the game or anything it just didn't do too much for the gameplay so i took the hotel element out of that but i'm gonna actually do that maybe on a later video and hope that i can make a functioning hotel slash brothel without having to do the strip club thing because um, really have done a lot of strip club stuff and I'm kind of over it but I do like love for my sims to have a lot of ways to make money so 
anyway that's it and there's there's a pool and a hot springs and they actually love to use the pool um, unfortunately there were some deaths in the pool in the winter but they love to sit in all the areas the only thing i haven't really seen was them using the hot spring okay let's talk about the actual lodge part of it so i wanted it to look kind of like a hotel or well really a motel um not the holiday inn but anyway it is the it is it is a motel type setting and i like i said i wanted it to be kind of tacky and cheesy so that's why it looks like this and i try to do every room a little bit differently. I'm, I'm not like the master builder, but I did have fun with this. And there's not really a lot of CC in it besides the um, hot tub. And I will post that in the description or who it's by if I can find that information. But the only CC that I use other than the mods is the hot tub. And so I had a lot of fun trying to make this tacky and cheesy. So it's kind of like a little, retreat with some freaky stuff going on so let's talk about what is needed to set this up on the lot so you need to go into build by mode and there is a, a lot trait that you can add that comes with wicked perversions so um, other than that I do have the bouncer trait so there's a bouncer and then hypersexual because it's a brothel then i have escort call center any kind of prostitute on a lot with this trait will use pre-made global call center client list instead of their own the lot owner will get a cut of all profits made while on the lot so that is what i have i also have put this nudity invisible um sex permitted not nudity but sex permitted sign in the rooms i don't know if it's necessary but sometimes this um mod wicked perversions does throw out an error message where it says sex init failure like they can't um, start the process so it seems like the sign kind of helped avoid that error but you still may see that a little bit i really don't know uh, how to resolve it completely but once you have that in place you need to click on a door click um, lock for and everything but escort business so you want to do that so that the rooms are only used for the escort business and we don't have anyone walking in and out of the rooms so next you're actually going to solidify one of your dancers so there is a command that you need to use to actually turn um, a dancer into a prostitute so what you will do is shift Control c to bring up the cheat box and then you're going to type in nisa dot solidify and then space and then the first and last name or first name space last name of the dancer that you want to solidify so then you're going to see this message it's going to say applying to the the name of the dancer you just applied it to so now she is officially a prostitute so next you're going to click on the prostitute and you're going to now have an option where it says perversions in the menu and you click sex control sex settings auto start and search by room so this is how the prostitute knows to go to a bedroom to service their clients and this will need to be done for each dancer that you turn into a prostitute so once that's done um, she's gonna show up on this website so if you click the a computer and then click open tam explorer and browse lost eden um, you can search by the services that they perform and the prostitutes will show up there also if you type nisa.slutify without first or last name it randomizes five males and five females uh, NPCs that are prostitutes and will show up in this list so they show up for the services that they um, agree to perform and I believe they have some type of probability or some system of having repeat clients and I know it said something about getting a cut of the profits in that call center thing but I haven't seen um, where my owners have gotten a cut of the profits but maybe it's just included in the whole strip club thing so I really haven't seen where their earnings are contributing or even like a big increase in earnings. 
um, compared to just having a regular strip club. But I guess, you know, there's some interesting stuff that happens because it is a brothel. So we do see some interesting things taking place. Once your dancer has become a prostitute, she will attempt to charm her clients or potential clients and then she'll take them back to um, one of the rooms and perform whatever services the client is paying for and i have seen some really interesting stuff um, happen sometimes there are multiple clients i really don't know how you know how they get paid for that or if it's extra but i have seen um, some of these working girls go back into um, the room with several clients so that is possible so what happens if you want to reverse the process and retire somebody from prostitution basically you're gonna bring up your cheat console dialog box again you're gonna type nisa dot unslet space first name space last name and that is going to remove the prostitute trait from the dancer and you'll get this message where it says it's cleared. So that's how you unsletify a dancer. That's it y'all, that's how you turn your strip club into a brothel. So next time I'm just gonna do a brothel without the strip club part of it, so stay tuned for that. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, don't be scared. And for those of you who have already subscribed, I truly appreciate you. I just recently reached 500 subscribers, so I really appreciate you for that. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.